it's Chris again, Don, and I believe this is our last time that we're done. And what we're going to do is work on the tail. So let's get started. All right, Don, their tail set on the Wheaton should come straight off their back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my half inch universal comb and gently just blend the top of the tail. Okay, right up the tail. Now, if they had a huge dip in their top line, I might not put as much pressure, but he's got a pretty level top line. Then I'm going to put my 5F, which is what I used on the bend, and go ahead and return your bend so you can turn the board. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go against on the bottom, one-third or two-thirds back side. And what this is going to do is like goof proof my tail set. So when I turn him sideways, his tail set is going to look more forward. So even if his tail set wasn't perfect, it's going to look farther forward. Ultimately, this should fit. The tail should be sit right in the middle of the ilium and the ischium. Okay, and his is not bad, especially for a pet dog, but it's not perfect, but by the time this little tiny tweak is done, this tail set is going to look absolutely perfect. So we're going to take that 5F now whip and finish the whole back side of the tail. And I actually will come up the outside edges, all right, with that same 5F, and then take the tip, just the tip. And what that does is it gives, gets my tail, look at the difference, just that little bit of hair made with the tail set. Now, I'm going to take, and I'm going to, oops, if I catch it, I'm going to comb everything down, okay, and I'm going to take my chunky blenders again, I love these things, and I'm going to lay that tail, and I'm going to use that angle of the rear, and just come right up the outside edge, and just clean up all of those fuzzies, all right. And now, Mr. Dawn has a pretty nice terrier tail.